Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be going over how to uh, remove a uh, graphics card, uh, the RTX 4090 MSI Supreme Liquid Code from uh, uh, the MSI Ace Max motherboard C790. And uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you unplug all of your cables from the, especially the power cable and everything that's connected to the graphics card. You want to pull them from the back, make sure there's nothing plugged in. All right, and after you do that, we're gonna remove these. There's some screws right here. We're gonna remove these two screws. And uh, after we remove the two screws, there's a little button over here that you gotta press uh, that we gotta remove there as well. So let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see them. See, that's it. So there's a little button right here that you gotta press. Uh, See where it's right here. And this is essentially gonna release the graphics card so you can pull it out. All right, so let's do that. All right, so now I am unscrewing that right here. It's two screws. Screw one. Screw two. It is a pretty heavy graphics card. Alright, so when you're loosening, I mean, don't use something metal like this. Use something, use a wooden, uh, I'm using a chopstick here, but I try to use something that's not gonna damage your motherboard. So I'm gonna just press this. There we go. It's out. Again, I, was, I pressed this right here to release it. All right. And uh, I'm actually gonna, <clears throat> there's a power cable here. I'm gonna unplug that as well. And when you're unplugging it, you will see that there's a little clip right here. I'll show you. Next, we're gonna release the radiator and remove it by removing <clears throat> these uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. All right, so let's do that. The last screw and the radiator is off. All right, so that's how you remove your graphics card. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to reinstall it. But before that, uh, <clears throat> I wanted to rearrange these, the radiator. As you saw before, it was uh, sticking out from the this area all the way out here and it was blocking a lot of these uh, ports here. What I want to do is I want to put the radiator on this side. So on the opposite side so that I can open up all of the space so I can use these ports. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Take these off. So long they are. And this is a really nice, uh, nice way to put the fans in there is a uh, a little bit of a rubber cushion, I think, that helps with the vibration and noise reduction. Hopefully, I don't compromise that. I 
Okay, so now I'm gonna be putting it on this end. See if this works. So now that we have the fence installed, there were screws everywhere, nicely positioned. Now we're going to put the graphics card back in. So we're going to insert this inside this slot right here. And to do that, <coughs> I'm going to have to rotate like so. No? So this needs to align with these slots here. And then again, this needs to go inside here. Or let's do that. No, that should go. I gotta put these screws in here. I have to put the push the case a little bit in to be able to insert this. So I'm pushing it this way from with my finger. There you go. Now I'm gonna put the second screw in. Nicely aligned. There you go. Should be in place now. Okay, and now the last thing we gotta do is plug in the power cable. So this cable here. If any of the yellow parts showing, you haven't plugged it in enough, you have to keep pushing. So let's see. This needs to be on top. Like so. There we go. And then make sure again not none of the yellow part shows. There we go. It's nicely in there. I'll show you. You can see the power cable is in there. There's the yellow portion is not showing anymore. Alright, and that's how you put it back in, guys. And uh yeah, so the, removing the graphics card, putting it back in. And you can see I've opened up a lot more room on this side so that all the ports are now exposed and I can use this area here to plug in additional uh, uh, cables. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do uh, click the like and subscribe button. And uh, until next time.